To be free is, uh, in my opinion, to live a life um, free of chains or bondage. I think of the time that I actually spent 41 days in Lowndes County Jail. And I'll never forget that day that, that they did call, call me and told me uh, you know, I could go outside you know, and I was free to go home. For me, it was uh, a, a sense of freedom. It pales in comparison to the freedom that I now have in Christ. Oftentimes we have a, a void that we experience in our life um, whenever we're not living in Christ or living satisfied in Christ. I always filled that void with um, alcohol, drugs, um, terrible relationships, pornography, self-gratification, anything that I could fill that void with to make myself feel good, that's what I would fill it with. My early teen years, I, I started um, messing with drugs and alcohol. And I remember my mom always telling me that you're turning your back against God, not me, not anybody else. You're turning your back against God. I think part of the reason that I'd done that was because I was kind of scared of, of actually what life was going to be trying to live godly. So I slowly replaced God in my life with drugs and alcohol and, and um, unhealthy relationships. In my, in my later years of addiction, um, I was an adult and had to work, so I would literally exhaust my days with work. Eventually, work didn't become um, gratifying anymore, so then I would go back to alcohol. And then whenever that wouldn't fill the void, then I would find another drug. Um, which you know would then lead to marijuana and then would lead to, to cocaine and, and keep you know it was just a revolving cycle. In 2009, uh, I made a decision to enter a treatment facility to get some help for my drug addiction. And uh, I'll never forget uh, the first night I was there, I, I called my mom and I asked her to bring me a, a Bible and I immediately opened it up and all I saw was 2 Corinthians 5.17. That scripture states, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, the old is gone, the new has come. And at that moment, I, I felt such a sense of relief, just never fully surrendered though. About a year and a half later, uh, I'll never forget, it was Sunday afternoon, I was driving down the road, um, just left uh, spending some alone time uh, doing some things I shouldn't have been doing and, and was on my way home and ran out of gas. And, uh, and at that time, I had to sit on a dirt road for 45 minutes. I called dozens of people and nobody would answer the phone. And it was at that time that God intervened and said, have you had enough? And, and it was clear as day um, that I needed to surrender my life to him. And at that moment, I gave it up. I said, I'm done. And I, I fully surrendered my life to Christ. And I knew that that day that my life was different than it has been ever since. I always felt that um, rebelling against God was actually gonna be better for me because it would, it would make me feel better. It would make life better. Um, I'd be able to make more money um, in the long run. I'd be able to do bigger things and better things. But the reality is, is the whole time, God's just trying to tell me, hey man, quit rebelling against me. Come to me and I'll show you how much peace that you can actually have in life. You know, my, my immediate passion changed from helping myself to helping other people. So every day I, I wake up and I go to work and I, and I always wonder whose life I make an impact. Um, just just by being able to, to share the freedom that I do have in Christ. The freedom we have in Christ is, is so much more. It's not just about doing what you want to do. It's not just about um, living your life on your time or in, in your means, but it's about doing what God has planned for you to know that every day now I wake up, I can enjoy the life that God gave me.